Now I have got um, a very interesting question and um, linear momentum. Now we need to understand this question. So the question is saying a lion of mass 120 kg rips at a hunter with a horizontal velocity of 12 meters per second. The hunter has an autom um, automatic rifle firing bullets of mass 15 grams with a muzzle speed of um, 600 and uh, is 630 630 meters per second okay and he attempt to stop the lion in a mid uh, in mid air how many bullets would the hunter have to fire into the lion to stop its horizontal motion assume the bullet stick inside the lion now we need to understand this question and analyze it for this guy to stop the lion from moving meaning that the net momentum has to be zero I can give you this scenario for you to understand it let me take you back to um, motion, uh, Newton's laws of motion let's assume to say you have got an object you apply the force of maybe 50 newtons now for you to stop this object from moving meaning that the friction force here has to be also 50 newtons meaning that the net force is going to be the 50 which is moving in this direction or let me say the applied force I have to put it in this way the applied force this is the friction force so the summation of all the forces in this case I can see that it's going to be the applied force minus the friction force since the friction force is opposing the motion so I'll say this since it's not moving they're going to be the same so I'll just say the net force is 50 minus 50 which is going to be zero meaning that at that point that object is not going to be moving so this is the same principle which is there now the question is a lion of mass 120 kg leaps at a hunter with a velocity of uh, 20 12 meters per second so the lion let's have a free body diagram here let's assume that this is the lion here so here is the lion now this lion has got the mass of 120 kgs then it is now moving toward the person this person with the initial velocity so we're going to say the velocity the initial velocity of the lion let me just say the velocity of the lion which is uh, 12 meters per second okay now let's think of this so we know that uh, we are going to have if this is the person here okay this person here has got uh, maybe this is the mass of velocity now let's okay let's understand it in this way so now the bullet let's assume that the bullet when he when he fires the bullet will have the velocity of the bullet let's just put it in. 330 meters per second now the mass of that bullet we are saying it is the mass of the bullet it is going to so this is going to be the mass of the lion it's going to be it's going to be what it's going to be 15 grams now I can convert this to kg which is going to be 15 divided by a thousand which is going to be 0 0.015 Kgs. now what we need to remember is that this lion is moving in this direction okay then immediately when this person shoots the gun the bullets are going to be moving in this direction now this bullet is going to be bedded inside the lion so to make their own stop moving meaning that the summation of all the momentum has to be equal to zero so I'll say the summation of the momentum 
what momentum do we have? We have got the momentum. This momentum is moving in this direction. I'll say the momentum of the lion. Now, since it is moving in this direction, I'll put it positive. Now, the momentum of the gun, or let me say the bullet, is moving in opposite direction. It's going to be minus the momentum of the bullet. But what we need to remember is that the question is how many how many bullets would the hunter have to fire into the lion to stop its horizontal motion meaning that i need to put n n will be the number of bullets okay so n will be the number of bullets so i'll say n times times the momentum of what the the hand so now we have to remember that the the net the summation of um, the momentum of the net momentum has to be zero. So I'll say this is the mass of the lion times the velocity of the lion minus. So I'll say n, let me use n for different car. I'll say n, then I have got the mass of the bullet, the velocity of the bullet. I can shift this to the other side then it's going to be n the mass of the bullet the velocity of the bullet is equal to the mass of the lion the velocity of the lion i can divide both sides by the mass of the bullet the velocity of the bullet the mass of the bullet the velocity of the bullet these guys will cancel i'll have the number of the bullet will be so n is the number of the uh, the number of the bullet mass of the lion the velocity of the lion divided by the mass of the bullet the velocity of the bullet so n will be equal to let's see the mass of the lion is 120 the velocity is 12 the mass of the bullet is uh, 0 0.015 times the velocity is 68 so what would be the value of n so n will be equal to on top there i'll have 120 times 12 is giving me 1000 1440 down part now what we need to remember is that this this is momentum is going to be kg meters per second then here i'll have 0. 0 0.015 times 630 which is going to give me a 9 it's going to give me 9.45 it is also momentum so it is kg meter per second now we can clear that these units will cancel therefore the number of bullets which are required for it to stop the the lion is supposed to be 114 1440 divided by 9.45 so the number of bullets that required they're supposed to be 152.38 okay so the number of bullets is going i can round it off so we can see that eh, even if I round it off here, the number of the bullet is going to be 152.4 bullets. But think of this. Bullets cannot be in a point. So I can just say, if someone says 152 bullets, it's just okay. So 152 bullets, they are the ones which are required for it to stop the what? The lion. Now, using the formula which we said, I want us to prove this. The net momentum has to be zero. So we said the net momentum has to be the momentum of the lion minus the n times the momentum of the bullet. So this has to be the same. So we are saying that it is supposed to be zero. Let's see. So this is the mass of the lion times the velocity of the lion okay minus the n then the mass of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet 
If we plug in there, we have to get a zero. Now we have found that the number of bullets are supposed to be 152.4, but we have just rounded off. So let's see. This is going to be the summation, the mass. Uh, in fact, this one we found the momentum, the mass time, that one we found to be 1440 minus. Now the n is 152.4. Okay. And then we we found this to be 9. Point, we found this to be 9.45. Okay. We found it 9.45. Let's see. 1440, 1440 minus. So what is 9.45 times 152.4? So it is also giving me 1440.2. I can say 0.2 or 0.18. Now on that we round it off. If it was the issue of not rounding off, then initially we said that this is supposed to be 152 because bullets cannot be in decimals. So I have to put 152 here for me to get the exact value. Okay. So 152 bullets are, are required. That's what we said. So I have to say 152 times 9.45. Okay, so if I use that one, then I can clearly see that this and this is going to give me 0 0.18. But if it was the issue of not rounding off, we can clearly see that if you plug in the values direct, you are going to get 0 direct, meaning that this answer is correct. So that is it for, for this question.